What's up, guys? It's your boy Jason with Bass Nurse C247. All right, so I got my L95 out here on the table. Um, after my last run of this vehicle, uh, the gearbox, you know, I could tell, you know, something was off. So I, I took a look, and just from looking, you can see there where uh, there's kind of a ring, which it's, you know, it's typically going to be flat so that will not be there so i noticed that and i'm like oh crap and um i felt it it was hot um so i took the cart as you can see the gear is not all the way chewed up or anything but what's happening is it <clears throat> with the speeds that the you know motor i use and the setup i have create it um it you know it, it creates a lot of temperature and over time due to the you know poor design of this it just is a poor design i guess for if you want to run power in this thing you're going to end up with this <laughs> um so yeah so i ordered a new uh gearbox it just comes with these plastic pieces it doesn't come with the metal part but that side's fine um so it'll be this will be really the only thing that we'll be uh, using from that but you know i'm tired of having to you know deal with the issues with this gearbox here it's it's always one thing or another um, a lot of times i strip these the plastic gears um pretty quickly if you don't have the mesh just right or, you know, if the motor gets hot, you know, this time the mo it wasn't the motor that got hot that caused this to start burning into the side. It was just the friction from this spinning, you know, right up against this with no bearing or anything, you know, um, you know any, or a washer, nothing keeping it off of the plastic wall there. So, like I said, it's a poor design. Um, for you know anything that's going to have really any speed or power so uh, you know for this for the stock brush motor that this comes with i think you know this design is not too bad um you know i, I know i drove this vehicle when i first got it for a couple months you know before i had any problems before i'd ever even opened any gearbox to any rc car um it, this was my very first rc matter of fact all right so so, you know, I've been looking around and thinking, you know, what can I do to remedy this issue? Because I really like this car, you know. Um, you know, but this is just a, a problem that, you know, I just, looking around, it's, you know, it's hard. I haven't been able to find anything that's, you know, real similar. Most gearboxes are more like this one. Um, so this is... Uh, Let's see, it's a HS, HSP Racing 18024. Um, it's a rock crawler gearbox, is what they call it. Um, and it it does not have a differential in there. It has just a solid um, solid axle, I guess you, you'll call it. So uh, you know, I don't. I imagine there's probably a differential that would fit in there. And the other thing um, is this has this type of uh out drive system so i will have to also order some um out drive cups i believe they're called which they won't be expensive and i've checked and um you know you can adjust where you put a mat on here if, if you want it to be a little further out or further back so it you know the issue of um you know i was thinking there may be an issue because this looks a lot narrower Than this right here but however um, once you get the cups on there and get them where you want it I think it should be just fine so hold on a second okay a um, couple other things I want to just mention real quick this this gear it uses a 0 0.06 mod pitch which is the same pitch that you get with your um, the, uh, the stock um, gearbox so let's see if we can take a look at this here hold on hold on a second all right and another thing um 
that I kind of knew was, you know, probably going to be an issue. Of course, I could, you know, modify the, um, you know, the mounts, you know, mount and put some, you know, of my own holes on here somewhere to attempt to mount this motor. I'm sure I could probably get it to, to work. However, um, it's it's made designed to fit a uh, standard 540 sized um, motor. So I have one that you know I, I use um, when I'm you know this is a lot of times I put this motor. Uh, I had this motor in my L313. I had it in uh, my 12423. Um, you know, it's a good motor, but um, you know usually I just I use this to kind of <laughs> start my upgrade. And then I'll order the motor that I, I you know choose. So, so um, a couple benefits that this is going to add. This is a bigger motor, so it will give me the potential to um, you know to run more more power, more speed. So, you know, um, I don't know what the gear ratio is to, uh, for this or the other gearbox for that matter. Um, you know it doesn't leave much room there for uh, for a bigger pinion so because that's as back as, as back as far as it is it'll back away from the spur gear all right so it's going to kind of sit in there like that and you can see with the open gear it doesn't leave much clearance up it doesn't leave much clearance from the uh there's some of the other um, components that hold this thing together here, but you know I'm sure that from what from what I can tell, you know it doesn't look like it'll be too tricky to get it to uh, make sure it clears everything. So um, what I'm going to have to do first off, um, this little round part here, little little um, half moon looking type shape. We we'll have to shave that down with a uh, either a Dremel or a knife or something. Um, uh, I'm going to put four mount holes there to mount. Oops, sorry. To mount uh, this gearbox, and I will probably try to get something maybe up towards here to kind of mount. Also, not sure if I will be able to figure anything out on that, but I will let you guys know. Okay, then um, as far as I can tell, the, the last um, issue that I can tell, you know, obviously right now is that if you see, you notice these uh, pieces here on the side, that's where these tie rods mount to this. This does not have them, so I'll have to find somewhere else to mount these tie rods to. I'm thinking I'll probably just kind of run, you know, use a piece of either metal or plastic, um, probably you know, tie it in here with these two screws here, just kind of, and have it just kind of sitting down, and then have a screw, you know, or a little mount, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, coming off that to hold the tires up. So, all right, guys. So, um, I'm probably not going to get to this right now because I've, like I said, I've got a few more parts I need to order, like the uh, the out drive cups there. Um, so whenever I do, I will make a video explaining what I've done, showing you how I did it. If it's something you guys are interested in, maybe be helpful. So, all right, guys, well, I appreciate you watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.